Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. We want to welcome you today to the joy of music as we bring you a special program from the historic cathedral in Bern, Switzerland. This late Gothic cathedral was founded in the year 1421 and took almost 100 years to complete. The monumental organ with its casework and facade is over 270 years old. It is in this great cathedral that over the years, thousands of people have sung praise to God. The Cathedral of Bern, Switzerland was a very important part of the Reformation. In 1528, the Reformation took place here in the church and the cathedral was changed from Catholic to Protestant. One of the great leaders of the Reformation here in Switzerland was Zwingli, who took part in many of the services of this cathedral. There were also two other famous reformers here in Switzerland, John Knox and John Calvin of Geneva.
1191, Duke Berthold V founded the city of Bern. The legend goes that the Duke said the first animal he hunted and killed, he would name the city after. And the first animal he found and killed was a bear. So the symbol of Bern, Switzerland, became the bear. And the city has a bear pit for people from all over the world, as well as people from Bern, to come and visit and feed the bears. Let's have a look at the bears because come rain or come shine or come snow, the bears are always in the pit. It is my pleasure to have as a guest on the Joy of Music today in the Bern Cathedral, the principal oboist of the Bern Symphony and professor of music at the Bern Conservatory, Mr. Walter Hewiller.
on the main street of Bern, Switzerland, in the middle of a winter snow. In Bern, there are 11 statues which date back to the 1400s. These statues were actually sources of water for the town in those days. Every day the servants would come to the statues, get the water, and of course talk about all the things that had happened the day and night before. Most of these statues are religious characters, such as Samson opening the mouth of a lion, or Moses and the Ten Commandments. But behind me stands the founder of Bern, Duke Berthold V. Because he founded Bern and named it after a bear, the statue has not his face, but the face of a bear. It could very well be said that Bern, Switzerland is the first real shopping mall because all of the walkways on the main street of town where I am standing and in the old town are protected by arcades. So it is possible to go visit a friend or go shopping and never be out in the weather, whether it be snow, rain or shine.
Here in the cathedral at Bern, Switzerland, we have a very unusual combination, that of organ and saxophone. My special guest is Dr. Larry Guaz, a concert saxophonist and professor of music at the University of Southern Mississippi.
The Psalms tell us to praise the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a special program from the historic cathedral of Bern, Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in helping to make this program possible.